Ladies and gentlemen, the first annual Austin Awards with your host, Austin. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the first annual Austin Awards. The chipping up to be an historic night tonight. We have a record-breaking 94 first-time nominees here this evening. 94. Yeah, give it up. Give it up. And by the end of the night, we'll have about 74 pissed-off nominees, which will also be a record. <laughs> Workers in film this past year had a right to be angry. Writers had to strike for five months for a new bargaining agreement. Actors had a strike for four months. Their biggest demand in contract negotiations? Bringing back the Polanski petition. <laughs> no, no, no. It was protections against studios using artificial intelligence to replace actors and writers. And so, the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild of America struck for a combined 166 days, or roughly half the runtime of Killers of the Flower Moon. I see you there, Martin. A Little bit of this never hurt anyone, huh? But new contracts were agreed to, good provisions were added about revenue sharing and job security. The actor's agreement does have gaps though. For example, Studios can now replace people with AI actors if studios think a task carries the risk of bodily harm. This provision threatens to eliminate thousands of Hollywood positions, including those of stunt men, stunt women, and the people who date Jonathan Majors. I know, hey, it wasn't me folks, it wasn't me. Hey, you don't have to see Creed III to know that Michael B. Jordan is the winner from that matchup. You still got it, Michael. <laughs> Speaking of winners, congratulations to Greta Gerwig and the movie Barbie for being the highest grossing film of the year. $1.4 billion at the box office. Yeah, give it up, give it up. Oppenheimer also became the highest grossing biopic of all time, grossing nearly, but not quite, $1 billion. Dollars. Yeah, round of applause. Both movies' numbers were helped by the Barbenheimer phenomenon, and studios have learned what can happen when you release a toy movie and a war-related drama on the same day. So Thanksgiving 2024, get ready for Fur Bismarck. <laughs> it's gonna be huge, folks. <laughs> Barbie was well received for its creative plot, but it wasn't the only movie with an ambitious premise from 2023. In the movie Dream Scenario, Nicolas Cage plays a man who shows up in the dreams of nearly every man, woman, and child. Much like Nicolas Cage shows up in nearly every comedy, drama, and action movie. <laughs> Nick couldn't make it tonight, but we love you, Nick. Yeah, Nick was a busy man in 2023, starring in seven films, seven, which is almost as many times as the people who saw the Eras Tour rewatched the Eras Tour. <laughs> 2023 was a year of groundbreaking movies. Taylor Swift and Beyonce repopularized live concert film with the Eras Tour and Renaissance. Yeah, give it up. The Super Mario Bros. movie became the highest grossing video game adaptation of all time. And on a more serious note, Martin Scorsese showed that influential Hollywood filmmakers can tell new stories about underrepresented communities and historically overlooked racial injustices while still making the movie about Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Magnificent, beautiful. Folks, we have a great show for you tonight, so please welcome your first presenters of the evening, Luis Guzman and Rihanna. 
Presenting on behalf of Luis Guzman and Rihanna, Austin. What are you doing there, Rihanna? I'm drawing, Luis. Oh, well, we have this award to present, so. All right, finished. You wanna see? Yes, I wanna see. It's to welcome everyone here. That's impressive, well done. Thanks, this animation stuff is tough though. <laughs> well, it's funny you mentioned that because we are here tonight to present the award for best animated feature. As children, animated films served as our gateway to the language of cinema. Their color, expressivity, and technical wizardry captured our imaginations, and instilled in us a sense of wonder and possibility. But although we may grow up, we can never outgrow the art of animation. This is true not only because animation serves as a compelling vehicle for powerful and difficult stories, such as this year's nominee, Unicorn Wars, but also because whenever we watch an animated film, we bear witness to the greatest artists and technicians in the world rendering every frame a painting. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Feature Film. The Boy and the Heron, Hayao Miyazaki and Toshio Suzuki. Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse, Joaquin Dos Santos, Kemp Powers, and Justin K. Thompson. Unicorn Wars, Alberto Vasquez, Chelo Lorero, Ivan Miñambres, and Nicolas Merkin. Nimona, no, Nick you... Bruno, Troy Quain, Karen Ryan, I'm Julie Zachary, Nimona. and Roy Lee. The first slam dunk, Takehiko Inoue and Toshiyuki Matsui. And the Austin Award goes to... The first slam dunk, Takehiko Inoue and Toshiyuki Matsui. Accepting the award on behalf of Takahiko Inoue and Toshiyuki Matsui, Austin. Takahiko Inoue would like to thank Dandelion Animation Studio, Toei Animation, and Toshiyuki Matsui for producing this film, to Hideki, Kiyotaka, and the rest of the animation team. Takahiko is filled with gratitude Basketball has been a lifelong love of Takahiko, and he is excited to share this passion with every corner of the world. Takahiko would like to thank all of the cast and crew of the first slam dunk for making this film a reality, including Shugo Nakamura and Jun Kasama for their wonderful performance. Finally, Takahiko would like to say, go Lakers, and once again, thank you. Coming up, Don Cheadle, Marissa Tomei, and a performance by Adam Sandler. And later, the award for achievement in cinematography, when the Austin Awards returns. Welcome back to the Austin Awards with your host, Austin. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the Austin Awards and congratulations to the first slam dunk on making history with the first Austin Awards win ever. Now to present the award for best actress in a supporting role, Don Cheadle and Marissa Tomei. Presenting on behalf of Don Cheadle and Marissa Tomei, Austin. It's an edge of your seat narrative that sci-fi and horror lovers are familiar with. In a post-apocalyptic world where zombies, or maybe aliens, or maybe some terrible disease has turned most of humanity into senseless, violent abominations, individuals of diverging backgrounds must work together to survive in this new treacherous terrain. While not quite as dramatic as such a movie plot, 
160,000 actors and actresses this past year also stood together as they endured a 116 day strike without pay to confront an existential threat to their craft, replacing actors with digitally rendered faces and artificial intelligence. <laughs> Thankfully, the woman nominated tonight for best actress in a supporting role remind us why real, live, hardworking performers are irreplaceable to the magic of cinema. Here are the nominees for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Tiana Paris, they clone Tyrone. And tomorrow, Dexter's lab will be there. And, 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 and we will go find out what that missionary position is, just like my girl Nancy. I promise, I, pro I promise. Megan Mullally, Dix, the musical. The only boy I ever had. Sure. Yes. Yeah. The only boy that ever came rocketing out of my vagina. Okay. I would have probably had another one just like you, but I didn't. Viola Davis, Air. You know, it's quite presumptuous of you to show up at my door. But I believe the saying that if you say what you want, that's fine and good, but doing something about it, you know, that's what really counts. Oh, Lori Metcalf, what about that, somewhere uh, in Queens. My eyes Somebody... don't look right when I look in the mirror. I felt a lump in the same damn spot I found the cancer. I don't need to talk to f***ing strangers about that. Penelope Cruz, Ferrari. You know what? I'm gonna give you power of attorney over my stock so you can deal. For half a million dollars. I don't have half a million. You will if you make a deal. And the winner is... Tiana Paris, they clone Tyrone. This is Tiana Paris's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Tiana Paris, Austin. Tiana Paris would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. She'd like to thank Creative Artists Agency and Color Creative. She'd like to thank Netflix. She'd like to thank her husband, James, and their beautiful daughter for all the love and support in the world. Tiana wants to thank John Boyega and Jamie Foxx for their brilliance and creativity, which made the film's comedic chemistry spill out of the screen. She wants to thank Jewel and Tony for having the fearlessness to make this story as hilarious and insane and as beautiful as it could be and to not shy away from its potential. On behalf of Tiana Paris, Thank you. Before announcing this year's nominees for Best Actor in a Supporting Role, we want to acknowledge that of the five actors originally nominated, only four will be announced this evening. The fifth nominee was found guilty of actions unbefitting this award show. We wish that the lack of a fifth nominee in this category will allow us to reflect on our own shortcomings as human beings so that we may all grow to be better to one another. Here are the nominees for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Charles Melton, May, December. Are you excited about tomorrow? Sure. I can't believe you and your sister are leaving. Yeah, I try to picture what it'll be like, but I can't. Yeah. Jamie Foxx, they clone Tyrone. Why is it always gotta be black on black crime? Hmm? Black man's supposed to support each other. Take your shit. dramatic ass. You lucky I'm a lover, not a fighter. Honestly, Robert Downey yeah. Jr., Oppenheimer. The whole hearing took a month. An ordeal. Well, I've only read the transcripts. 
Who'd want to justify their whole life? You weren't there? As chairman, I wasn't allowed to be. Are they really going to ask about it? Mark Ruffalo, Poor Things. What do you keep doing that for? A man over there repeated blinks at me. I blink back, for polite, I think. And the winner is... Robert Downey Jr. Oppenheimer. This is Robert Downey Jr.'s first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Robert Downey Jr., Austin. <sighs> Robert Downey Jr. would first like to thank Universal Pictures for their faith in this project and their faith in the cast and crew of Oppenheimer. He knows that when people think of high grossing blockbusters, they are not thinking of historical dramas on the ethics of science. But he also knows that when you invest in talent, success is always possible. Robert wants to thank Christopher Nolan for doing this story justice, not just in terms of its accuracy, but in terms of its suspense. He wants to thank Killian, Emily, Matt, Florence, and the rest of the cast and crew for elevating this production to the masterpiece that it is. Robert thanks Emma Thomas for leading this production and thanks Raskin and Dunlap for leading him to this production. Finally, Robert wants to thank his wife, Susan, for literally everything, everything. On behalf of Robert Denny Jr., thank you. Please welcome to the stage Martin Short. And on behalf of Martin Short, Austin. In this year's animated film, Leo, Adam Sandler portrays a talking, decades-old reptile that listens to the social, emotional, and personal difficulties of fifth grade students. The film, as well as Leo, treats these students and their problems with the respect that any person, no matter their age, deserves. In the song, When I Was 10, these fifth graders do what many of us do and reminisce of simpler times in their younger days. The result is a lullaby that, underneath that classic Sandler snark, is a song that is both earnestly poetic and painfully relatable. Now performing When I Was 10 from the movie Leo, Adam Sandler. Performing on behalf of Adam Sandler, Austin. When I was 10, I didn't have a single care, and not a single body hair, and life was fine. When I was nine, we still left milk for Santa Claus. My mom was not on menopause, and life was great. When I was eight, I still could wear a size one shoe. I thought Big Macs were good for you. Yes, life was heaven. When I was seven, I knew some dirty words, but thought that babies came out of mom's butt like baby chicks. When I was six, my folks would fight, but I was chill. My grandpa and my dribbles were still alive. When I was five, I didn't care that people died. A haircut used to make me cry way more. When I was four, I didn't need to have a phone. They hadn't yet invented drones to follow me. When I was three, I'd laugh for days when I was two. When someone said the word doo-doo, 
There were no rules when I was one Except don't fall We just had fun But that was then When I was ten Please welcome Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Ariana DeBose. And appearing on behalf of Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Ariana DeBose, Austin. If movies are worlds that we immerse ourselves in, then do you know what a movie set design is, Denzel? <laughs> it's the cobblestone underneath your feet as you dine in an old Italian square. Hmm. Very nice. And do you know what else set design is, Meryl? <laughs> it's a dusty saloon that bottles up simmering tensions, ready to explode in chair-smashing madness. Mm, delicious. And do you know what set design also is, Teo? It's a secret alchemy chamber with elixirs and poisons in every bottle. <laughs> a film's production design can steep us in the realism of a different century, a faraway country, another world, but it can also highlight its own artificiality while nevertheless drawing us into a world of its own making. Here are the nominees for achievement in production design. That last stuff was terrible. Poor Things, production design by Shona Heath and James Price, set decoration by Suza Mihalek. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, production design by Patrick O'Keefe. A Haunting in Venice, Production design by John Paul Kelly. Set decoration by Celia Bobak. Asteroid City. Production design by Adam Stockhausen. Set decoration by Chris Moran. Barbie. Production design by Sarah Greenwood. Set decoration by Katie Spencer. And the winner is... Poor Things. Shona Heath, James Price, and Suza Mihalek. Accepting the award on behalf of Shona Heath, James Price, and Susan Mihalek, Austin. Shona would like to thank Yorgos for his vision in making this film. James would like to thank the rest of the team celebrating back in Budapest. This is for you. And Susa would like to thank the rest of the crew that made this award possible, including Istvan, Victor, Maxine, Budai, Gabor, Naomi, Julia, Esver, Zoltan, Steven, Ve, Abraham, Renato, Judith, Jonathan, Benz, Geza, Zofia, James, Adam, and Peter. Thank you all. <laughs> Dwayne, where did those sunglasses come from? Oh, you mean these bad boys? I was told off stage to put these on for presenting the next award. But why? <laughs> why? Because these glasses elevate my entire character. The dark lenses add an air of mystery to my presence. The green frame speaks to a free spirit that's not afraid of mischief. And the sheer magnitude of the glasses lets everyone know that I'm big time. <laughs> big time, huh? Big time. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it applies to those glasses, but it is true that the pattern of a suit, the cut of a dress, or the scuffs on a shoe can visually communicate to audiences a sense of place, a sense of character, and a sense of time. We are here now to recognize five such sartorial communicators. Sartorial, huh? Okay. 
The nominees for achievement in costume design are The Color Purple, Francine Jameson Tanchuk. Barbie, Jacqueline Duran. Poor Things, Holly Waddington. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, Anne Roth. Killers of the Flower Moon, Jacqueline West. And the winner is Holly Waddington, Poor Things. This is Holly Waddington's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Holly Waddington, Austin. Holly Waddington would like to say, wow, this thing is heavy. <laughs> Holly thanks Yorgos for creating such an imaginative world for her costume designs to be brought to life. This has been a dream project of Holly's. Holly wants to say that it's only through the performances of the actors and through the work of set design, lighting, and filming that these costumes can truly shine. And for that, Holly thanks the entire cast and crew. Thank you on behalf of Holly to Claire Best and Associates and the Dench Arnold Agency. To her family, Holly wants you to know that this, this is for you. Thank you on behalf of Holly Waddington. Please welcome to the stage, Dame Judy Dench. And on behalf of Dame Judy Dench, Austin. In this year's film, Dix, the musical, our two protagonists, Craig and Trevor, are overbearing, narcissistic, misogynistic salesmen. Their boss, however, played by Megan Thee Stallion, is more than up for the task of keeping Craig and Trevor in line, as she so convincingly proclaims in the musical number, Out Alpha the Alpha. Now performing Out Alpha the Alpha, Megan Thee Stallion. Performing on behalf of Megan Thee Stallion, Austin. They say boys will be boys, man, what a crock of shit. These men, they hold all the cards, it makes me wanna spit. They're always fucking shit up, they're always making a mess. But I'ma tell you the secret to my success. Men are all stupid, weak little boys. They're not very smart, they just make lots of noise. They got the nose up my ass, they wanna be teacher's pet. And so I keep them on their toes and make those fuckers sweat. Girls, sit on your throat and just act like a queen. And these boys will be dying to kiss the ring. Train them to beg like the dogs that they are. And you'll find that it ain't no thing to out alpha the out. Alpha, out alpha the alpha, out fox the fox, out fox the fox, outsmart all these dummies, outsmart all these dummies, out fuck all these, cocks. out fuck all these, cocks. they'll cop a feel or smack your ass and then they'll suck their little thumbs. These boys all want a kiss from mommy, they're all scummy, sacks of so put your foot right on the throats if they are standing in your way and just make those f***ers pay. Stacking my dollars, making my coin, got trip in the back of my truck. Bank ball thriving, swimming in cash, screech my f***ing duck. I always stay stunting, my sh is brand new. My tuna is ahi, my beef is wagyu. Y'all are just servants, this is my palace, built it brick by brick. So get in a line, drop me your knees and suck my f***ing Then eat my ass, lick my f***ing and find my c***ing. Just keep on f***ing, I'm not done, I'll tell you when to quit. Hell yeah, I'm raw, bitch, I'm the star. And yes, I'm real boy, there's no HR. I'm the f***ing dumb, don't need a f***ing man. And by now, you know my plan. Out Alpha the Alpha, out Alpha the Alpha. Out screw these c out screw these c out play all these losers, out play all these losers, out juice all these n out juice these n These baby boys can't keep the pace, they're all so f***ing slow. They love acting like they run the place, but I'm the CEO. These men are f***ing dinosaurs about to be destroyed. And I'm the asteroid. They've called
called me shrill, they've called me sl they've called me ice queen, and what's more, they've called me crazy, called me loud, they've called me bitch and c and wh Imagine, if you will, we murdered all the males. A woman-driven world where equity prevails. Sadly, that's not how it is, but don't you get upset. I'll put those boys right in their place. God damn, that makes me wet, ha <laughs> ha. Trevor, Craig, you're fired. Out Alpha the Alpha. Out Alpha the Alpha. Out Fox the Fox. Out Fox the Fox. Outsmart all these dummies. Outsmart all the dummies. Out all these c**ks. Out these c**ks. Out Alpha the Alpha. for the alpha. Ah. Coming up, Aquafina, Tom Holland, and a performance by Sharon Van Etten when the Austin Awards returns. Welcome back to the Austin Awards with your host, Austin. Welcome back to the Austin Awards where we are about halfway through the show. Is everybody holding up all right? Well, unfortunately, it's come to my attention that all bathrooms in the venue tonight are out of order. But if you really need to go, I was told that you can do what the critics have done and just piss on Rebel Moon Part One. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Now, to present the award for Best Original Score, Aquafina and Tom Holland. <laughs> Presenting on behalf of Aquafina and Tom Holland, Austin. A good score has the ability to wrench tears from our eyes as a beloved character breathes their last breath. or quicken our heartbeats during a thrilling action sequence. Or fill our hearts with warmth as two sweethearts fall in love. <laughs> or surprise us with a new and unexpected melody. <laughs> or drive us to the brink of sanity with its unrelenting presence. The nominees for Best Original Score are Jerskin Fendrix, Poor Things, Daniel Pemberton, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, Gary Gunn, A Thousand and One, Ludwig Goranson, Oppenheimer. Gavin Brivik, How to Blow Up a Pipeline. And the winner is... Jerskin Fendrix, Poor Things. This is Jerskin Fendrix's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Jerskin Fendrix, Austin. Jerskin Fendrix wants to thank Yorgos Lanthimos for creating such a weird and vibrant and rich concept of a film that became such an inspiration to score music for, and for giving Jerskin the freedom to discover the sound for poor things, no matter how weird and daring that sound became. To his label, Untitled Rex, to Peter Price, and all of Jerskin's artistic collaborators and co-conspirators, and to his parents, Jerskin says thank you one and all. <laughs> Presenting the award for achievement in cinematography from maestro Sarah Silverman and the star of American Symphony, John Batiste. 
and doing so on their behalf, Austin. So, John, cinematography, huh? Yeah, I love it. Can't get enough of it. You know what I say when I watch a movie that I don't totally understand, but I feel the need to say something insightful about the movie so that the people around me don't judge me? Is it, I love the cinematography? It's, I love the cinematography. You do that too? It's foolproof. Well, I'm not an expert, but I had a dream once where Alfred Hitchcock told me that cinematography encompasses all of the on-screen visual elements of a film. We're talking lighting, framing, camera movement, camera angle, the grain of the film you see on screen, basically everything. That was all in a dream? Well, it was more like a nightmare. <laughs> anyway, here are the nominees for achievement in cinematography. Rodrigo Prieto, Killers of the Flower Moon. Matthew Libatik, Maestro. Linus Sandgren, Saltburn. Tahia de Castro, How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Robbie Ryan, Poor Things. And the winner is... Matthew Libatik, Maestro. This is Matthew Libatik's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Matthew Libatik, Austin. Matthew would like to thank all the other nominees this evening whose work is beautiful and incredible and a source of inspiration. Matthew wants to thank Bradley Cooper for being such an excellent partner in executing on the vision of this film. To the rest of the crew, Matthew says thank you for all your hard work and that this award is the culmination of all of your collective efforts. To United Talent Agency and to his family, Matthew says thank you and thank you again. On behalf of Matthew Libatique, thank you. Please welcome to the stage Zendaya and appearing on behalf of Zendaya, Austin. In this year's Best Picture nominee, Past Lives, geography, circumstance, and relationships are at odds with a childhood connection that feels destined to blossom into love. The film's characters are forced to contend with the fact that, along with what is felt in our hearts, the feelings of those we care for and our obligations to them must also be handled with care and humanity. The song Quiet Eyes by Sharon Van Etten captures the painful and constrained emotions of past lives protagonists. Beneath a beautiful melody, a cacophonous guitar wells, threatening to overwhelm everything on the surface. Performing Quiet Eyes from the film Past Lives, Sharon Van Etten. Performing on behalf of Sharon Van Etten, Austin. Moving statues in the park Mosaic faces fading in the rain Recalling memories of loss Yet untouched and unscathed Is this really a mystery life? Where we only learn from our own mistakes Misstep, fall downstairs Maybe you're too wise for me Your quiet eyes break my heart now you're calling out 
you're calling out despite it a long car drive music in air comes from a place out of Staring at stars or a lightning bug On a faraway stair On a torch lit night The field of depth On those marble steps We'll meet again In light That's how it's done That's how it's done and how it's undone That's how it starts That's how it starts And how it's unknown Fall, fall Calling out in spite of it all Fall, fall Will we meet again in the light? Ooh, ooh, And now, presenting the award for achievement in visual effects, Millie Bobby Brown, and from the film Barbie, Ariana Greenblatt. And doing so on their behalf, Austin. Wow, Millie, that's a cool looking action figure you have there. Thanks, Ariana. It's the doll from the movie Megan. Wait, isn't that the movie with the killer doll? Is that action figure safe to have around? Come on, of course it's safe. Does this Megan look like it would ever hurt anybody? See that? See what? That. It's a visual effect, Ariana. It's made to look real, but it's just manipulated or computer generated images to render the fantastical on screen. Okay, sure, but will it stab me? <laughs> you wouldn't hurt Ariana, would you, Megan? See? Thanks, Megan. Here are the nominees for achievement in visual effects. Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse. Michael Lasker, Alan Hawkins, Brett St. Clair, and Pav Gracola. You call this art. We're talking about it, aren't we? The creator, Jay Cooper, Ian Cumley, Andrew Roberts, found and American. Neil Horvold. <laughs> Who told you our location? Godzilla minus one, Kyoko Shibuya, and Takashi Yamazaki. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part One. Alex Vutke, Simone Coco, Jeff Sutherland, and Neil Horbel. Society of the Snow, Laura Pedro and Felix Berges. <laughs> Oh! 
And the winner is... Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Michael Lasker, Alan Hawkins, Brett St. Clair, and Pav Bracola. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse now becomes the first animated film ever to win the Austin Award for Achievement in Visual Effects. Now accepting on behalf of the winners, Austin. Michael Lasker, Alan Hawkins, Brett St. Clair, and Pav Grocola would like to thank the cast and crew of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and their families on their behalf. Thank you. And now, presenting the award for Best Original Screenplay, Julia Roberts and Samuel L. Jackson. And presenting on behalf of Julia Roberts and Samuel L. Jackson, Austin. One of the great screenwriters of the past 30 years, Charlie Kaufman once said, everything I've written is personal. It's the only way I know how to write. In fact, the art of screenwriting always involves a writer drawing on their own experiences, their own feelings, and their own imagination to render a world fit for the silver screen. The five screenplays nominated tonight for Best Original Screenplay demonstrate the singularity of vision and imagination that is only possible when writers have the freedom and support to tell new stories that entrance and inspire new audiences. Here are the nominees for Best Original Screenplay. Past Lives, Celine Song. May, December, Sammy Birch and Alex Machanik. The Royal Hotel, Kitty Green and Oscar Redding. Barbie, Greta Gerwig and Noah Bamba. Dream Scenario, Christopher Borgley. And the winner is... Barbie. Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach. This is both Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on their behalf, Austin. Greta and Noah want to thank Warner Brothers and Mattel for giving the green light on this weird, ambitious, Hydra-like story. A movie about Barbie could have been many different things and Greta and Noah are grateful that this is the version you chose to support. To David Heyman, Tom Ackerley, and Robbie Brenner, Greta and Noah say thank you. To Margot, Ryan, America, Kate, Michael, Issa, Rhea, Will, and everyone else, Greta and Noah could not have asked for a funnier cast and crew to realize this script. To everyone who saw the film, who was inspired by the film, Greta and Noah want you to know that this award is for you. And now for the award for best adapted screenplay. And the nominees are Poor Things, Tony McNamara, based on the book by Alastair Gray. Blackberry, Matt Johnson and Matthew Miller, based on the book Losing the Signal by Jackie McNish and Sean Silkoff. Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan, based on the book American Prometheus by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. Killers of the Flower Moon, Eric Roth and Martin Scorsese, based on the book by David Graham. American Fiction, Cord Jefferson, based on the book Erasure by Percival Everett. And the winner is... Oh. Blackberry, Matt Johnson and Matthew Miller. This is both Matt Johnson and Matthew Miller's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on their behalf, Austin. Matt and Matthew would like to thank Jackie McNish and Sean Sickoff for their incredible book, Losing the Signal. Jackie and Sean captured so many incredible facts and narrative threads regarding Blackberry 
the book was a treasure trove of inspiration for Matt and Matthew. To XYZ Films, Rhombus Media, and Elevation Pictures, Matt and Matthew, thank you for making this film a reality. They also thank CAA, the cast and crew of BlackBerry, and their family. Once again, Matt and Matthew say thank you. Please welcome to the stage, Steen, and appearing on behalf of Steen, Austin. In this year's animated film, Suzume, a battered white door, paint peeling, stands atop a flooded pool of water. The door is supported by nothing, and when opened, promises to let you in a fantastical world of light and color while promising to let out an invisible coiling menace that brings all in its path to ruin. With a haunting hum, the plucking of strings, and a breathy delivery of lyrics, the titular song Suzume captures the nervous anticipation of turning the cool bronze handle of that battered white door. Now performing the song Suzume Radwimps and Toaka. <laughs> Performing on behalf of Radwimps and Toaka, Austin. Do, 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 do 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 so reda gamusu bare you no washun no zo kaze no naka de mo make na yo na koe de todo keri kotoba wo ima wa saudate teru toki wa mo kuragi kaze wa niki hada hoshi wa ubusuna hito wa kageru o nande naiteru no tochikare kotareru namida nanka ja pokura de aita koto no imi ni wa maru de oitsu kanai kono mi hitotsu jatari nai sakebi kimi no te ni fureta toki ni dake furueta kokoro ga atta yo ini wo ikuta koereba boku da watadori sukeru no kana oro kasa de i mimi kusa de i tadashi sa no sono saki de kimi to te wo toritai Omoi de senai, taisets na kiyoku, kotoba ni nara nai, koko ni aru omoi, moshika shitara, moshika shitara, sore da ke de kono, kokoro wa de kiteru, moshika shitara, moshika shitara, Kimi ni kizuite toi momo sono mune wo uchi narasu. Nande naeteru no tochi kare kota areru. Namida nanka ja pokura de aita koto no ini ni wa maru de oitsu kanai kono mi hitotsu 
ゃたりない叫び君の手に触れた時にだけ震えた心があったよ意味をいくつ超えれば僕らはたどり着けるのかな愚かさでいい醜さでいい正しさのその先で君と生きてきたい Please welcome Frances McDormand and Oprah Winfrey. And appearing in lieu of Frances McDormand and Oprah Winfrey, Austin. When audiences think of Hollywood, they think of the stars, the women, and men who light up the screens and bring to life the characters and stories that were previously just words on a piece of paper. We grow up with actors and actresses. We form a connection to their lives and careers. And it is this human connection to stars, both new and old, that drives this industry to prosperity. In a few moments, we will all share a crowning achievement in one of these actors' lives as we announce the winner for actor in a leading role. It will be a moment that they and us are unlikely to soon forget. Here are the nominees for actor in a leading role Paul Giamatti, The not, Holdovers. Where would you go? Oh, 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 oh. Greece, Italy, Egypt, Peru, Carthage, Tunisia now, of course. In college, I started a monograph on Carthage. I'd like to finish that someday. Monograph is like a book, only shorter. I know what a monograph is. Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here, a secret laboratory. This is a national emergency. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. The world. Well, remember this day. Coleman Domingo, Rustin. When Martin speaks, he holds nothing back. That's what people feel when they hear him truth. So tell me, Elias Taylor, how can you preach salvation? And not want to save yourself. Ryan Gosling, Barbie. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. No one knows how hard I tried. Oh, oh, I, I have feelings that I can't explain. Driving me insane. All my life been so polite, but I'll sleep alone tonight. Adam Driver, Ferrari. While Dino was getting weaker. What goes on in your mind? He got sick. Dystrophy. Kidneys. It destroyed him. It destroyed us. What do you care? Huh? You have another son, you have another wife! She's not my wife, but he is my son. And the winner is... Killian Murphy Oppenheimer. This is Killian Murphy's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Killian Murphy, Austin. Killian Murphy would like to acknowledge the genius of Christopher Nolan, whose vision inspires in Killian constant awe. To his fellow cast members, including Gary Oldman, Florence Pugh, Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, and Robert Downey Jr., Killian would like to say thank you for making him a better actor through your own excellence. 
Killian loves his wife, Yvonne, and his family. He is grateful for the work his reps and agency provide on his behalf. And he is also grateful to Emma Thomas and to Universal for providing Oppenheimer the support that it deserves. <laughs> Finally, Killian wants you to take it from an Irishman who grew up in the 80s and 90s that the only way to truly destroy an enemy is to make them a friend. In the darkest of hours, Killian believes the only path forward is one rooted in peace and equality, no matter how difficult the conflict may be. On behalf of Killian Murphy, thank you. And now we turn to the five incredible women nominated for actress in the leading role. And the nominees are These two Emma are Stone, ideas core things. Banging around in Bella's head and heart like lights in a storm. Oh. You're always reading now, Bella. You're losing some of your adorable way of speaking. I'm a changingable feast, as are all of we. Apparently, according to Emerson, disagreed with by Harry. Oh, come, come, just come. You were in my son. Harry Mulligan, maestro. I used to just love wrapping myself up in his trench coat. Mm. And he would walk on the door at night from work. That smell would intoxicate. I always associated with feeling safe. Tiana Taylor, a thousand and one. Don't look at me like that. Get off me. Why are you being mean to me? Because you get f up. Ow! Who said you could talk to me like that? I like them. Okay, well, yeah, what about me? What about me, Terry? Some sh is more important than some coloring books. Oh. Greta Lee, life. Past Lives. Yeah, because we're sitting here at the <laughs> same table yeah. in the same city at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wouldn't that make this in the mm. <laughs> That's just something Koreans say to seduce them like. Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon. We need to be quiet for a while. Be quiet for a while. And the winner is Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon. This is Lily Gladstone's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Lily Gladstone, Austin. Lily Gladstone would like to thank you all for this award. To her mother, who's been a bedrock of support for Lily her entire life, Lily thanks you. To Edward Pagan North and the entirety of Blackfeet Nation, Lily thanks you. To Eric Roth, Martin Scorsese, to Bob and Leo, all of you have worked tirelessly to do this story 
and the people in this story justice. And for that, Lily thanks you. To Apple and to her agents, Jill and Sasha, Lily thanks you. And finally, to Chief Standing Bear and all of Osage Nation for sharing your history, your culture, and your lives with Lily and with the world, Lily thanks you. And now, please welcome Sir Anthony Hopkins and appearing on his behalf, Austin. Audiences the world over look to actors and actresses in film to help bring happiness to their lives. But who do these actors and actresses look to for their own happiness, comfort, and companionship? Oftentimes, it is the cats, dogs, and other pets of these men and women who brighten their days. We are here today to honor and bid farewell to the Hollywood pets and animal actors who have passed away this past year. Please welcome to the stage Michelle Yeoh, and appearing on behalf of Michelle Yeoh, Austin. The question, What Was I Made For?, is the title of the fifth and final piece nominated this evening for Best Original Song. That question, What Was I Made For?, speaks not only to Margot Robbie's portrayal of the blonde, bedazzled icon in the film Barbie, as she grapples with the world far larger than her own plastic mansion, the question also serves, like the movie itself, as an examination on the purpose and impact of the now 65-year-old doll. Steeped in sadness, filled with a quiet resolve, and wrestling with the terror and potential of a good old existential crisis, the song, What Was I Made For?, captures a feeling that all of us confront 
at one time or another in our lives. Now performing What Was I Made For, Billie Eilish. <laughs> performing on behalf of Billie Eilish, Austin. I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now what I was made for, what I was made for. Taking a drive, I was an ideal, but so alive, turns out I'm not real, just something you pay. I made for Cause I I I don't know How to feel But I Want to try I don't know How to feel But someday I might Someday I might When did it end? All the enjoyment I'm sad again Don't tell my boyfriend It's not what he's made for What was I made for? Cause I But someday I might, someday I might Think I forgot how to be happy Something I'm not, but something I can be Something I wait for, something I may Something I'm made for. Coming up, Tom Waits, Lady Gaga, and the award for Best Picture when the Austin Awards returns. Welcome back to the Austin Awards with your host, Austin. Welcome back to the Austin Awards. We're almost to the finish line. Just a few more awards to go. But if you're in a hurry, I'll just tell you right now, that new Transformers movie ends up winning Best Picture. <laughs> now, please welcome your next presenters, Tom Waits and Lady Gaga. Presenting on behalf of Tom Waits and Lady Gaga, Austin. Well, you've heard all five songs tonight, so we may as well get right to it. That's fair, that's fair. The nominees for Best Original Song are... When I Was Ten. When I Was Ten, from Leo. Music and lyrics by Robert Smigel. And not a single body hair, and life was fine. Out Alpha the Alpha. Out Alpha the Alpha from Dix the Musical. Music and lyrics by Megan Thee Stallion. Fox the Fox. Quiet Eyes from Past Lives. Music and lyrics by Sharon Van Etten. Suzuman from Suzuman. Music and lyrics by Radwimps and Toaka. Something I'm made for. 
What Was I Made For? from Barbie. Music and lyrics by Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connor. Something I made for. And the winner is... Quiet Eyes, Sharon Van Etten. This is Sharon Van Etten's first win and first nomination at the Austin Awards. Accepting the award on her behalf, Austin. Past Lives is a movie filled with a miraculous amount of love and compassion. And for that, Sharon Van Etten would like to thank Celine Song for making such a special film. Sharon is grateful to have had the opportunity to participate in and be inspired by such a work of art. To her son and her husband, Zeke, Sharon says thank you and that she loves you both. Having recently moved to California, Sharon now lives amongst yearly wildfires, everything burning in the distance, smoke clouding the skies. Sharon wants you to know that the climate crisis is real and that we must act before that fire and that smoke on the horizon consumes us all. On behalf of Sharon Van Etten, Thank you. Please welcome to the stage, Halle Berry. And standing in for Halle Berry, Austin. Through coordination with each constituent piece of a film's production, from an actor's performance to the angle of the camera, we look to the creative vision and conviction of the director to ensure that the end result of our collective work is greater than the sum of its parts. The five women and men nominated this evening for achievement in direction have helped create films that transcend the confines of their genre, achieving superlative levels of wonder and feeling to leave an unforgettable mark in this past year of cinema. Here are the nominees for achievement in directing. Yorgos Lanthimos, Poor Things. Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer. Chloe DeMont, Fair Play. Justine Trier, Anatomy of a Fall. Christopher Borgley, Dream Scenario. And the winner is Christopher Borgley, Dream Scenario. This is Christopher Borgley's first Austin Awards nomination and first Austin Awards win. Accepting the award on behalf of Christopher Borgley, Austin. Christopher Borgley would like to say that he is stunned at having won this award. To his fellow nominees, Chloe, Justine, Yorgos, and Christopher Nolan, Christopher Borgley is floored by all of your talent and imagination, and he believes it is an honor to be considered amongst you all. To Nicolas Cage, Christopher wants to say that he is thankful for your incredible performance and that you are a damn legend, man. <laughs> On behalf of Christopher, Thank you to the cast and crew of Dream Scenario, to A24 and Ari Aster and Lars Knudsen for believing in this project, and to his cinematographer, Benjamin Lubb, for realizing the beauty and the horror and the heart and the humor of this incredible film. Once again, Christopher says thank you all. Please welcome to the stage Javier Bardem and appearing on behalf of Javier Bardem, Austin. The five films nominated this evening for Best Picture run the gamut from intimate to bombastic, from colorful to muted, from edge of your seat thrills to quietly heartbreaking. Their stories and the people who have made them speak to the creativity vision, 
and most importantly, humanity that audiences have come to equate with the magic of cinema. Here are the nominees for Best Picture. Barbie, David Heyman, Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, and Robbie Brennan. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. This would be catastrophic. Poor Things, Ed Guinea, Andrew Lowe, Yorgos Lanthimos, and Emma Stone. Hello, Bella. She's an experiment. Good evening. Her brain and her body are not quite synchronized. But she is progressing at an accelerated pace. Past Lives. David Inohosa, Pamela Koffler, and Christine Vachon. What a good story this is. Childhood sweethearts who reconnect 20 years later and realize they were meant for each other. In the story, I would be the evil white American husband standing in the way of destiny. Shut up. How to Blow Up a Pipeline. To Texas for Issa Maze, Daniel Texas. Goldhaber, Ariella Barrer, and Adam Wyatt Tate. What kind of project? Trying to stop the pipeline from being built on my property. We have to show how vulnerable the oil industry is by hitting something big. Michael, what do you think the odds are we blow ourselves up? May, December. Natalie Portman, Sophie Moss, Christine Vachon, Pamela Koffler. On the surface, understand. Were they born or were they made? Feels like things just settled down and now y'all are making a movie. It's a very complex and human story. I think it's hard to trust that you're gonna represent Gracie as she was. I'm gonna try. And the winner is Past Lives. <laughs> Accepting the award on behalf of David Inahosa, Pamela Koffler, and Christine Vachon. Christine Vachon and Celine Song. And accepting on behalf of Christine Vachon and Celine Song, Austin. Incredible, it's incredible. Christine would like to say thank you to A24 for believing in and supporting this movie. Past Lives is a special film, not just for its intimacy and empathy, but for its restraint and not chasing big dramatic moments for their own sake. And for that, Christine wants to thank Celine Song for having the courage to make such a beautiful, honest piece of work. To the cast and crew, Christine wants you to know that this award is all of yours to our partner Marlene and their daughter. Christine thanks you and loves you. Celine would like to thank this incredible cast and crew of past lives to Greta, Teo, and John. Celine believes you made the magic of this film a reality. To her husband, Justin, and to her parents, Celine says thank you for all the support you have provided. Once again, on behalf of Celine Song, Thank you. Well, folks, that's the show. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next year. Have a good night.